got a big, big week of wrestling coming up this weekend. Um, starting off with the Big Tens on Saturday and the Big Twelves. But then, if you do not know, the Mateo Pelicone is also going down on Saturday and Sunday. And we're going to be covering our predictions as well as giving you guys the brackets for this crazy event. Let's get into the video. So the Mateo Pelicone, a big, big event, good for determining rankings in international wrestling. And therefore, we've got a lot of big time wrestlers competing. We got Nick Soriano, we got Zahid Valencia, we got Jordan Burroughs. We got a lot of good, good wrestlers competing at this tournament. But Nick Soriano, um, in his bracket, he's going to have a round robin on two different pools. But in his pool, he has three matches, and there's really only one tough guy I could see maybe beating him. And that's Nursam Saniyev of Kazakhstan. Uh, 2019 world bronze medalist um, great guy but if Nikki can beat him uh, really has a really good chance to place and probably win the whole entire tournament so definitely would watch that match going down on Sunday and at 65 kgs um, we got two very good wrestlers uh, you got Joey McKenna and you got Bajrang Punia Punia who is actually from India but is very well supported here in the US which I was pretty surprised about but he's probably gonna have to go up against Joey McKenna in the semifinals um, winner of that will most likely win the whole entire tournament as they are probably the best wrestlers um, in this whole entire bracket. So definitely would stay tuned to that semifinal matchup. But uh, Budring Punya probably will be Joey McKenna. McKenna will probably get a bronze medal here and Budring will take this tournament. Then at 74 kgs, this is the big one. You got Jordan Burroughs and you got Frank Chimizo probably going to go up against each other. But the best bracket at this whole entire tournament in my opinion. Burroughs, um, he has a tough matchup against Kazakhstan's world bronze and Asian gold medalist uh, Kaisenov, but he can probably beat him. But if he does, he'll go up against India's Yadav, who was actually a really good wrestler. I was a fan of him. But then he had that big um, anti-doping suspension after he took some uh, steroids and stuff like that. And he was on a four-year suspension after he won a world bronze medal in 2015. So first time seeing him wrestle at a big senior tournament in a while. But uh, it's going to be a good matchup between him and Burroughs. Um, Chimizo definitely will be the favorite to make the finals as well. Only tough competition in Malik Amin. Um, and that's about it. So probably going to see a Burroughs versus Chimizo final. Um, Chimizo probably won't forfeit like last, uh, like a few years ago, I think. I don't remember when, but Chimizo did forfeit in the finals match. But since it is one of the only ranking series going on in 2021, um, expect a really good matchup between Bjorn Burroughs and Frank Chimizo. And at 86 kg is another monster bracket, the second best bracket after 74 in my opinion. Got three Americans, most by the Team USA. Got Zahid Valencia. Yeah, who's going to have to go up against a tough competitor in 2018 world silver medalist Faith Adin of Turkey or he'll have to go up against silver medalist in the U23 uh, Davalov of Kazakhstan very tough guys um, great test for Zahid but then on the bottom side of the bracket you got Miles Martin and Mark Hall who are going to probably go up against each other in the quarters it's going to be a good matchup to watch and should see uh, all three Americans coming home with a medal, but the winner of Martin and Hall definitely will make the finals against the Heat Valencia. 97 kgs, this is a tough one for Team USA. 97 kgs, we got Colin Moore, who's going to have a tough bout in the semis where he's going to go up against uh, your golly of Kazakhstan, but if he can win, uh, has a good chance to win the whole tournament, while Zilmer has a very, very tough uh, match against Iran's Karimi, who has a lot of world medals to his name, a very respected guy in the senior freestyle wrestling world but uh usa probably will get two bronze medals or unless colin moore can beat uh kazakhstan's alicia yagali um but i don't think anybody's gonna beat iran's karimi so best we can hope for here is a second place and a third place for zilmer and colin moore and a heavyweight uh very small weight class here not a lot of entries but got ncw champion and a member of the gopher rtc tony nelson I uh, have decent competition in Amarta Sai of Canada, Olympian, as well as Kazakhstan's Oleg Bolton, a medalist at the Bill Farrell and Dave Schultz tournaments. But uh, Nelson definitely has potential to beat guys like Amarta Sai. Um, could see him win this whole entire tournament in the upcoming weekend. That's going to wrap up our video talking about the upcoming Mateo Pelicone. Very, very big tournament. And if you're not watching the Big Tens, or you're not watching the Big 12s, this is definitely something that you should be watching. Really big and huge implications for the senior wrestling scene for USA Wrestling. But that is going to wrap up our video for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and sub for more wrestling content like this.